Welcome everybody to Level M Diecast. We have a very special uh, showcase we're going to take a look at today. This is Siku Catalog. We're actually going to look through 10 years of Siku catalogs, starting with 79. We're going to run all the way through to 89 and just see kind of what was going on throughout the years for Siku. Uh, you know, we do collect Siku here. We don't have a lot of it on the channel here, but we do collect it. They are very um, feature-rich models, uh, very, very higher-end expensive stuff. Uh, Siku was never known to make cheap stuff, although they make some pretty cheap stuff now. Um, not all of it's cheap. They still make high-end stuff, but you can see here, you know, models are a little bit bigger scale, a little bit bigger than 164 scale. Uh, most of their bigger trucks and stuff like this were 155th scale, so the cars were you know, around that scale to kind of match up a little bit. Just some other uh, materials here. This one is actually a parking structure. Um, you can actually take that apart and build a parking structure, which was very impressive. Um, never had one of those uh, personally, but as far as the parking structure, that is the uh, kind of layout there. So it's not the actual building, but has all the perimeters and everything like that. You kind of use the, you know, the tabletop or whatever is your imagination as a kid. This one actually is a building. You do build a garage section here uh, with the garage transporter. They used a lot of uh, the same trailers and stuff like that, but they repurposed them to be perfectly functional. A lot of these had functioning fifth wheels. They had functioning landing gear, like actual crank landing gear, uh, not stuff that you see nowadays. Um, some other cool stuff here. They, you know, they made accessory stuff. This one comes with a tent on the back, which is pretty cool. A little raft on top of the car. These were some really, really cool stuff. A lot of these ones I've never seen uh, myself personally, but of course we're talking late, late 70s, so very, very old. Uh, pretty cool ones here. This one has a plow with a dump on the back. Looks pretty good. This, of course, uh, you know, Siku is a German company, so you're going to see a lot of signage and stuff uh, for not in the U.S. We'll just put it that way. Uh, nice crane like that, much smaller crane than what we started with at the beginning. Very cool uh, themed uh, trucks together. Of course, this builds a nice gas station, which looks pretty good. A gas station's very, very nice. Has some pumps in it and everything. And then, of course, you have a tanker truck to deliver the fuel. And then, of course, cars to come pick it up and buy it. Construction equipment has always been a huge staple of theirs. The uh, crane folds up to actually build into an actual crane unit. Does get towed by that truck, which is very, very nice. Uh, very, very intricate pieces for sure. Ah, uh, yes, back in the day when you could actually make uh, military stuff in diecast without the world uh, freaking out. Um, this is some really, really cool stuff. This stuff looks really cool. You got your Panzer here, uh, different Panzer here, then a uh, Leopard up here, which looks pretty cool. Um, big fan of World War II stuff, so I do like that kind of stuff. Um, and then just some um, ambulance services and stuff like that. Not, not military, but... Uh, Still looks super cool. Uh, ADAC, this is um, what I anticipate is uh, something with, uh, you know, emissions control or compliance or stuff like that. More like the, we call it the Department of Transportation here in the U.S. I'm not sure what ADAC stands for, but I guarantee you, one of you guys is going to drop a comment and tell me exactly what ADAC stands for. And uh, I'll know. This one's super cool. This has like a dyno kit in the truck. I've actually seen this kit one time. Didn't quite understand what it was when I saw it because um, I didn't really pay attention to it. I really regret it because I really wanted to buy it because that thing is just really, really cool. Very unique, very unique idea. Uh, a couple other items here. I do have this big uh, uh, fire truck here. It's uh, pretty beat up. The one I have is pretty beat up. But each one of these little tank things open up and the little squirters around there. If I remember correctly, I think you could actually fill it up with water. I'm not sure if it actually squirt water, but you could definitely fill it full of water, which was cool. Uh, this is a pipeline uh, type of machine, and of course it runs along the trailer here, and of course you can unload it by pulling the pipes off, which is just a super cool feature, something that we would never see nowadays, um, but super, super cool, definitely like that. Uh, a couple more trucks here, nothing fancy here, just, you know, Siku Euro Transport, uh, you know, these, these uh, you know, tarp-covered uh, trailers, very popular in Europe and other countries, Pretty much don't exist that much at all here in the U.S. Pretty much everything is a boxed dry van. Uh, some other stuff here, just some other random stuff. That's a delivery truck, some delivery trucks over here. Nice tow truck, uh, another pipe transporter. 
And then the last page we have in this particular catalog, we got ourselves a Unimog. That is a trash truck right there in the middle, which looks pretty cool. Some um, farm equipment stuff, Siku Express. Uh, that is, a, I think it's a Mack truck, maybe. No, it's not a Mack, but still looks pretty cool. Most of these were licensed too, so I don't know if they had any unlicensed ones. All right, moving on to, of course, 1980 to 1981. See how much changed. They definitely changed up with their display. Um, more so play than just sitting there. Oh, there we go. Right back to the same old, same old, just sitting there. A lot of good models here. A lot of Volkswagens here on the left-hand side. Got your BMW. That is a uh, Ford Granada wagon, which is kind of cool. The uh, Vanagon, and of course a uh, you know caravan trailer on there. Uh, same one, this parking structure. There's just another view of that parking structure. Some signage and stuff like that. Looks pretty cool. Uh, this is a pretty nice setup. We've got a Mercedes 250 here. That same pipe lane truck carried over. No surprise there. A lot of carryovers here. This one actually creates a walkover bridge, which is very, very impressive. That is pretty cool. Very unique idea again. Um, but those are kind of common in Europe, uh, especially in uh, like uh, Russian stuff like that. These, at least from what I've seen, um, those are pretty popular and stuff like that. So makes sense that they would have those. Uh, more carryover delivery trucks, more carryover of the uh, car hauler. So, you know, it's going to take some time to see some new stuff. Uh, the big fire truck here does have some different wheels on it than before. Uh, the rest of the stuff here is, is pretty standard quo stuff that we saw before, except for this guy with the raft on the top, which is super, super cool. I definitely like that look for sure. Cool accessories and stuff. Uh, more carryover stuff. Um, and then, of course, this guy with the uh, tow truck and stuff. I don't know if that was in the last one, but um, he's here now. This one is a uh, tow truck, you know, designed to lift up the whole car. They do that in Europe a lot. They don't do a lot of tow trucks like they do here in the U.S. where they just bring a flatbed in and yank it up on there. Uh, some other stuff here. This one is a much, much larger scale uh, Unimog. Never seen that before. I'm not really sure the details of that, but that one is giant. You can see one of the smaller ones here. Uh, more carryover stuff here. These race cars are pretty nice. You got a couple of McLarens. Looking pretty good. Uh, looks like this one is an LKW. Um, let's see what that says. It says LKW. You no, know, it doesn't really say much. It says uh, in other languages and stuff too. So thought maybe I could figure out what that was. It looked maybe like a Toyota or something like that. Uh, another unique uh, kind of setup here. This is a uh, tree removal truck, uh, which is kind of weird. But you can set the trees up, which is kind of interesting. A um, couple more just canopy top deliveries. A couple different scale. This is a little bit bigger scale than these trucks here. All these bigger trucks are, you know, basically 155th scale. So, again, more carryover stuff. This one's pretty good. All these sides do fold down, um, which is a really, really nice piece. I used to have one of those in red, but not yellow. I since got rid of it. Uh, this is a pretty cool set. Never seen that one with the excavator on it. It comes with a couple of signs and stuff like that. Toolbox. Uh, of course, a sign in the back that says, uh, you know, wide load or heavy load or something like that. Uh, rubber tracks, not metal tracks. So it wasn't quite uh, that ridiculous. Uh, a couple more construction items here. Again, carry over with the pipe layer. Another uh, excavator there. Looks pretty cool. There is that same crane with that same uh, other crane. Both cranes carry over. You see how big the crane is compared to the kid who's just chilling there, sitting on his knees. The crane's just as tall as he is, which is pretty cool. And then kind of an exploded view of the original opening to the last catalog, uh, which kind of focuses on this crane. This crane does a lot of different things, even has opening toolboxes on the side, which is super cool. So that is the end of that catalog. All right, moving into 82 and 83. Look how big that Unimog is compared to the rest of these. I think it's huge. These are 155th scale. So that's much, much larger than... Um, man, that's actually really, really... Big. I've never seen that. I, I didn't realize how big that was. That's actually kind of cool. All right. 1982 to 1983. I do anticipate we're going to see quite a new bunch of new stuff in here. There we go. We do see a bus in here, which is pretty cool. 
a little bit more details on that Granada we talked about from previous. A couple more McLarens and just kind of more standard decos. That's a nice Porsche, which is pretty cool. Uh, sign package. I actually, I actually have one of these blistered. These actually came in a blister, like a Hot Wheels car would come in a blister. You get all those signs. It was actually a really cool idea. Um, again, Siku just thinking outside the box, a lot like Major Ed does. Uh, another you know mix here. We do have a brand new truck here that is your Mac, which is very very nice. It does have a trailer on the back. Most of these were actually I think all of these were pretty much all metal, except for you know the containers and stuff uh, were plastic. But I do believe those ones were metal. So Sikus are very heavyweights. Uh, another one of those uh, walkover bridges. Got a horse-drawn trailer with some horses in the back right there. Um, it's a nice, looks like a Volvo. That's a pretty nice truck. Looks pretty cool. Mm, nothing too, too new right now. Uh, new construction hauler. This one is a front-end loader, which is pretty cool looking. Of course, a Mack tow truck uh, functioning and all that stuff like that. Because, of course, the Polizzi um, whole fleet of them here. It looks pretty cool. That is a Mercedes-Benz taxi as well. Uh, more fire truck stuff. Looks like some new decos. Uh, maybe some new decos on the ambulances and stuff as well. So nothing really fancy, nothing really doing there. But that looks pretty cool as well. I do apologize. The catalog was a little crooked there. That is an actual bridge. That bridge that you see right there, you actually built. It came as a kit. Came with the supports and all that stuff, all the uh, side pieces and the you know the railings and all that stuff like that. It and it all fit on the truck. That was actually a legitimate item that you build. It was actually super super cool. I've seen one of those one time uh, in box, I believe. I think the guy wanted like four hundred bucks for it, if I remember correctly. And the box was like really good shape. Uh, here is those big huge scale ones. Um, you can see that is the one fifty fifth scale versus all these bigger ones. These Magurus Dutes, um, that's a licensed truck, by the way. Pretty cool. I bet you these were mostly metal. Kind of Tonka style a little bit. Um, definitely not as big, but definitely on the same level as Tonka's. Uh, this one is pretty cool. We do have a couple of tankers, a couple of different tankers as well. Again, there's that uh, you know gas station, which looks pretty cool. Uh, I especially like this tanker. The tanker's pretty cool. That's more Euro style tanker. This is a little bit more... U.S. style tanker, Globe Trotter Volvo truck there as well. Uh, a couple more trucks here, nothing fancy here, nothing we haven't seen before, uh, for the most part, except for this uh, boat hauler that is new. Uh, that one's pretty cool. And then of course, there is another one of those uh, canopy top trucks. You can see that the trucks even have opening hoods and all kinds of stuff. They did all kinds of features. Siku was was truly in another class, their own class. Uh, more stuff here. Kind of shows off the tow truck doing his thing. Uh, even the uh, tractor opens up. That's pretty cool. So, uh, Let's see here. Samo Samo does have the Mercedes uh, van here with the uh, functioning um, you know, boom on the top to work on you know, traffic lights and things like that. Siku Euro Transport. That was a soft top, by the way. That wasn't hard plastic. That was an actual soft vinyl top you could take off. Uh, very, very similar to what the Super Kings did. Of course, you know, Siku did basically what the Super Kings did, just better. Um, more construction stuff. The crane all collapsed down. Um, probably a little bit too big compared to the car. Uh, but that is a fawn. So that's a licensed crane, which is really, really cool. Um, but I do think it's a little bit too big for the cars. I mean, the crane's big, but it's not quite that big. Uh, and then a couple more of the things we've already seen right there. And then rounding it out at the end. Nothing fancy with the end of that particular one. All right, moving on to 1983. Hopefully we'll see some more new stuff. Looks like we do have a couple of boats. We've got a sailboat going on there. So taking a look at our first set here. We do have a new Volvo truck down here. New decos, obviously, for most everything. Uh, and then an ice cream delivery truck with the reefer unit in there, which is super cool. Car hauler, a uh, new truck right there with the Turbo Express. That is a Volvo cab, which is very, very nice. Shows a little bit of play value there at the top. Do apologize for the glare. Moving on through here, of course, this is the emergency section. Looks like the same old, same old. Not really much new here. Nice light trailer, which is kind of cool. 
a little bit of a rescue effort to it. Uh, let's see here. Eh, standard fare. Nothing, nothing new here. Nothing carried over. Uh, they do have little mini pallets and stuff that go in the truck, though, so that's kind of cool. Again, carrying on with that, uh, you know, parking structure, uh, getting a little bit more uh, American flavor. So I'm not sure when Siku entered the American market, but they were sold here. Uh, so maybe this was just a little bit more to help the U.S. market a little bit. Of course, you were making a Mack truck, which was a U.S. truck. So definitely expanding the fleet. Uh, some more stuff here. We do have a double tanker. That one is super cool. That one's really, really cool. I like the double tanker a lot. Looks like there's actual hoses to hook up to some of these tanks. Tanker was pretty big. Let's see comparison to the picture of the kid there in the advertising advert. Uh, this one is super cool. So it looks like the whole uh, sail actually folds down. Looks like maybe the sail is actually maybe wood as well, uh, which is insane. It's pretty big. See, the boat is definitely pretty big. That is a new cab. That is a Kenworth cab as well. Matchbox made that cab. That is a very uh, um, synonymous and iconic model from Matchbox for sure. Looks like Siku made it as well. This guy does have the Jeep on the trailer as well. Doesn't have a uh, booster or anything on the back, but he does have the Jeep, which is kind of cool. Shows how heavy the load is. Uh, a couple of tractors. Never really come across the tractors much for Siku, but... Uh, definitely pretty cool. They did all kinds of stuff in the back. Siku makes a ton of farm stuff still today. Nothing new here. Same old, same old. Carrying through a new color for this particular can uh, canopy truck. Um, same old, same old again. You know, I wouldn't anticipate something like this crane, which is uh, rather dramatic to really change much over time. Again, same old, same old here as well. Nothing new on this front. And then rolling in, we have like one or two more pages. Um, Coke truck, Coke delivery truck with some bottles in the back. You see the bottles do fill up in there. Does come with a little dolly. Super, super cool. So that's new. That is a uh, Ford cab over. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's a Ford cab over. Uh, and then, of course, there is that bridge truck all folded up, looking pretty good. And then the last page, just those giant ones with the little tools they come with, little shovel and whatnot. All right, 1984, about halfway through. Trying to go relatively quick since there's a lot of carryover stuff. Uh, some brand new stuff here. Of course, we do have a new Mercedes uh, trash truck with a couple of bins in the back. Those bins are die cast, which is very, very nice. Uh, got a Volvo truck with a bunch of signs in the back, which is super cool. Very, very nice to add a bunch of signs to your city layout, which is Essentially what you could do with Siku. Uh, new style for the car hauler there. Uh, new color for this uh, canopy truck as well, which is pretty cool. That one is really, really nice. I really like this uh, kind of um, archback car hauler, um, which is right here. That is a super, super cool piece. Had a, like a little winch and stuff on there, and you could actually pull stuff up on there. It was super cool. Uh, same old, same old with the emergency stuff. Looks like they didn't give too much uh, thought and stuff to the emergency stuff. Seems relatively carried over. A lot of the same decos, really nothing new going on there. Uh, pretty much average stuff here, except for this guy. That is a new container hauler. Very interesting to have the containers open on the top. That is actually kind of interesting. Kind of interesting to have open on the top. I'm not really sure uh, the details of that, but I'm sure... Obviously, those type of containers exist uh, in real life. Uh, same old, same old with all the tankers and stuff like that. Just new colors for the American style tanker. New color for the double tanker. The double tanker is especially really nice. I just like I just like pup style trailer stuff. It's just super cool. A uh, bunch of new, well, not a bunch, but a couple of new um, um, attachments for the uh, tractors, including this tank right here which is pretty cool. These are licensed tractors. You have a Mercedes here. Uh, looks like this one might be a Fent, um, and maybe this one might be a Dutz. Um, so those are pretty cool. I like the double wheels on this one especially, but that's a cool Mercedes tractor. I really like that one. Very old school. Uh, some dump trailers. We saw those before. Nothing new there. Just, you know, simulating dumping some dirt out and stuff like that. Uh, looks like the same old, same old with the 
boat stuff. There is a new boat trailer here, which is kind of a cool piece. New color for the Kenworth cab, uh, which is hooked up still to the uh, boat transporter. So that is a new color for the... Actually, you know what? That is a new color. It still says Europa on it, uh, just like the last one, but it's a new color. Uh, Man Bus does come with a couple of luggage pieces, which is very, very cool. Very, very cool. I've never seen one of those buses. Never come across one. Uh, some more truck stuff. Nothing new here. Looks like all the same old, same old. Uh, maybe a new color for the canopy uh, trailer truck. But as far as the loader, that's the same. Looks pretty cool. Comes with a couple of ramps for side loading, which is very, very nice. Maybe they'll come out with a forklift or something. Uh, a couple more construction trucks. Looks like maybe a new color for that guy in the backhoe. Um, other than that, it's the same. They pretty much show a kid working with the tow truck in every single catalog. Never changes. Uh, more construction stuff here. Just same old, same old. Again, nothing changed here except for, of course, we do have a dump trailer now. That is a pretty cool trailer there. Um, pretty decent size, too, with the Mercedes cab on that one. Um, we got one more page here. Uh, just the same old, same old. Maybe a new color for the uh, Mack tow truck, but uh, nothing different there. Just some farm stuff there on the back. All right, 1985, moving on to that guy. Looks like they have a giant play mat now. Uh, this is the way the Sikus are boxed. If you collect old school Sikus, you'll probably recognize all these. Um, finding this stuff boxed like that is, is, is very, very expensive. Uh, kind of a construction layout, all the construction stuff. I think that looks pretty cool. Nice little, nice little layout. I think they did a really good job with their uh, advertisement for the catalog. Um, old school truck here, that is new. It's definitely a new one for sure. The rest of everything looks pretty standard quo. Nothing new on that front. Uh, same here. A lot of carryovers for 1985. Uh, this is new. That is a fire station on a truck. Um, and there is your truck that pulls it right there. That is pretty cool. But you'd build that thing. You would take all these pieces off and you'd actually build it. That is actually super, super cool. And you can put all your fire trucks in it. Not too shabby. Uh, looks like a new color for the roll-off tow truck. Uh, new hauler here with the um, helicopter that has ADAC on it. So that might not be DOT compliant like I originally thought. But like I said, somebody will inform me. Uh, new deco for the Mack truck here. And then, of course, king of the road with that triaxle uh, box trailer. Super, super cool. Uh, same old, same old, uh, nothing new, same exact gas station, still nothing new with the gas station. Uh, looks like a new deco for the canopy truck here, a couple new decos for some race cars. Um, but other than that, nothing new. Farm equipment looks like the same is the deal here, except for maybe this uh, tractor right there in blue. Looks like that is a Ford tractor, so... They got Ford Dutes uh, fence. Um, looks pretty cool. Oh, this one has a new attachment on the front for sure. Kind of a uh, hail or hail hay uh, hay bale kind of attachment or something like that on there. Not familiar with farm stuff. So they don't show a picture of this, but I'm pretty sure that that right there um, might be um, kind of a setup for. Um, Maybe throwing um, like manure or, or fertilizer or something like that. Uh, very interesting design to the trailer, but it does have like a spreader in the back. So maybe they'll have a picture of that, maybe on the next page. Unfortunately, not not a, not a picture of that. I guess maybe they'll show us a picture of that later on. Uh, new color for the uh, Kenworth again. So it looks like they were changing the color on that guy pretty much every year which is probably necessary to sell something big like that uh, sailboat. This one is pretty much all the cars, all the regular stuff. Caravans, got a tow truck here. A couple of buses, looks pretty good. Pretty standard stuff, pretty much seen all that stuff. All right, brand new deco for the uh, excavator hauler. Uh, and that is a man truck as well, so that's super cool. Uh, I definitely like that deco on it, looks good. Looks like it fits on the trailer pretty well. Uh, and then, of course, there's another um, excavator in the back. Pretty standard swole. Standard stuff we've seen. Uh, there we go. Finally. Finally got a new color for the crane. They finally had Oh, check it out. There we go. Got ourselves a forklift as well. 
So that forklift comes on the trailer. That's pretty cool. It's actually pretty cool. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that particular one. Uh, but pretty cool that they finally got a new color for that crane. It's getting kind of old in the tooth. Uh, new color for this crane as well, for the bigger crane, for the fawn. And there is the truck that I had. This one right here. This man um, with the crane in the back and everything. That one's super cool. I had that one new in box, but I sold it, unfortunately. So old school Siku is not... It's really, really nice, but it's it's kind of pricey. So sometimes you just got to move it on to somebody who collects just Siku. There is the next catalog. Of course, 1986. Just a few years left. There we go. We actually moved... Uh, into coca-cola looks like they got the license for coca-cola so you got your coca-cola delivery truck they did a uh, box truck as well looks like that particular one is a volvo looks like it might be a little bit more pre-production or maybe not quite finalized in production doesn't have print on the front which is not which is uncommon uh, for trucks new deco for the canopy hauler and then this looks like a new truck right there or new back section uh, possibly a new truck looks like a mercedes uh, same old stuff here. There is the forklift here. That's a different style of forklift, a little bit smaller scale forklift. Uh, but the rest of the stuff looks pretty good. A lot of average stuff, a lot of carryovers year to year to year. Um, didn't realize just how unbelievably carried over from year to year to year they would be. But other than that, the models are really good. The models are really good and they're all metal. Um, New color for this guy, new color for the Mercedes, new color for that tractor there. Looks like that has a new spreader on the back of it. Nothing new with this, this other piece here, unfortunately. Uh, another new color for the crane. Looks like they decoded it up to be a assistance vehicle for the fire department, which is kind of cool. Kind of an interesting take. Um, you definitely couldn't put it in the fire station, though, because it's way too big. But... The fire station is really cool. I really like the fire station. So it looks like they finally gave a little bit of love to the fire theme. Looks like pretty much everything got new decos. Very realistic decos. Looked like a new deco for the helicopter as well. With the police, of course, being pulled by a fire truck, which is kind of interesting choice. Um, and then just the same old stuff we've seen here. Nothing new there. All right, 1987. I feel like we're going to get something definitely new in this catalog. Oh, there we go. There we go. Brand spanking new um, fire, st or fire station. Brand spanking new uh, gas station. Gas station. Figured out if I can get the right words out. Uh, brand new gas station. And it's even got a car wash and a lift in there as well. So an actual service station, which is super cool. That is, of course, not designed to be carried on a truck. Uh, it's quite large. So it looks like that was sold individually. Uh, and then just a millions of cars here, just a tons and tons of cars, Porsches and all kinds of stuff looking super cool. New decos for all this stuff. Looks like they did a pretty giant revamp in 1987. Uh, quite a large revamp. Uh, forklift on the truck here. New deco for the uh, trash truck. That is a new recycling truck. Very, very cool. Uh, new truck for the uh, license or the uh, signs as well. So they did quite an extensive overhaul. Uh, brand new uh, horse hauler. This is where, uh, Bly, bleh, can't talk all of a sudden. Uh, Budweiser Clydesdales, uh, world famous on the side. That's a new truck as well. This actually looks pretty good. This actually looks really, really good. I, I really like the uh, the uh, horse transporter. Ooh, look at that. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy. That guy has enormous quad wheels and everything with the big plow on the front. Um, it's like this other Mercedes track uh, tractor that's just on steroids. That's that's really cool. I really like that one a lot. Definitely didn't expect that. That one's super. I might have to actually try to hunt that one down. Uh, more tractors. Definitely expanded the tractors quite significantly. Doesn't really look like much colors changed though. Uh, just maybe more tractors. Wow, very very nice. Introduced some combine harvesters. Uh, more new tractors. More new trailers. Of course, farm buildings as well. Very, very cool. Um, definitely like that. That is very, very nice. Um, some um, balers and stuff like that. Looks super cool. That is quite impressive. This is quite a revamped year for them. 
Of course, the fire station stuff got revamped the year before, so they really didn't do anything with it. All the same old, same old. Uh, looks like pretty much the same here, except for there is a brand new casting here in the mix. You do have your Freightliner cab over. Very, very cool with a very cool BP tanker on it. Um, and then, of course, a new boat right there for the emergency flavor. This one has quite a bit of an extensive update as well. You see the tow truck now has a nice big push guard on the front, uh, which is metal. Same, um, you know, crossway delivery truck. Looks like new color, though. Um, and then the rest of the construction equipment looks the same. Uh, this one is like a animal transporter. So you see you do have a rhino there and a, can't really see what's in the back, maybe a polar bear, kind of an interesting mix. Uh, but they transfer in those two uh, trailers right there, which is kind of cool. Other than that, I think it's all the same. Next one up, looks like they made a matching dump truck for this uh, excavator hauler. Uh, new deco for the um, fuel tanker. And then just same old carrier over stuff here. Oh, very, very nice. Very nice. Belly dump trailer for... The Kenworth cab over, very nice belly dump trailer. That's super, super cool. Uh, new deco for the cab on the bridge transporter, but other than that, it's the same. Everything else is the same. Another new color for the crane. So I guess they didn't like that one color for the crane for the one year, but they changed it. And then a new color for this uh, truck right here with the canopy top. See the catalog doesn't quite line up. It looks like the cut down here was not made correctly on the previous sheet all right two more years to go 1988 massive cranes look at that space shuttle very cool uh carryover stuff here nothing new here this is all the same um same shell gas station stuff like that which looked pretty good uh, one new recycling truck, uh, open top trailer with a crane on it so you can put stuff in there to recycle and go dump it. That's that's a cool idea. Um, I really wish that we could get something like that in like really nice, you know, one fiftieth scale stuff nowadays. Uh, moving on to uh, tractors and stuff, a couple more um, implementations for the tractors, a couple more pieces of equipment other than that. Really nothing going on there. Just pretty average standard stuff. Uh, looks like there is a um, harvester transporter. I'm not really, I don't remember what these are called, but they carry all the logs. You know, they're, they're four axles. Um, they use them in forestry all the time. Um, pretty cool. A little can of, or uh, conveyor to get stuff up into the trailer. Just kind of cool. Just getting some more, um, you know, additional pieces. Looks like all the same on this page, nothing new. There's that monster tractor, which is super cool. Uh, more tractor stuff, just more of the same. Really pushing the um, tractor theme. They got a couple of uh, mower attachments and a uh, chipper, wood chipper there. Looks like maybe that's a new tractor right there with the uh, open top, no canopy. Uh, moving on to this one here. Same old, same old. We didn't get no love for the uh, fire trucks. Fire trucks have hardly gotten any love. Uh, next one up here, unfortunately the same, really nothing new here. Uh, maybe a new deco for the helicopter, but that's pretty much going to be it. Um, maybe another color for the crane again? Maybe? I already forget. We looked at so many cranes. I didn't realize there'd be so much carryover stuff from, from Siku. Uh, same really the same you know 87 had a really huge huge makeover so it only makes sense that that huge makeover would carry over for several years uh brand new here that of course is the kenworth uh i'm sorry the peterbilt with the um that uh, might be a kenworth that's no, a kenworth sorry um with the um space shuttle on the back i don't know if that space shuttle was metal or plastic or what it was it probably had some metal in it I really don't know. Um, I've seen one of those for sale one time. I was going to buy it, but the box was really destroyed. And I should have just bought it anyways. But um, New cab here with the Renault. Definitely have not seen that cab before. So there's a new cab with the Renault. It says it's King of the Road. Instead of the Mac, it's now King of the Road. So 
trailer didn't change, but the truck did. There is a new deco right there. Of course, that is for the new cab with the Renault. Uh, new color set up, I think, for the bridge. Um, and then new color for the belly dump. So that's a pretty cool piece. That cab is really, really nice. That got Kenworth cab over. Uh, the red stuff here. Um, oh, that is a Peterbilt. It is a Peterbilt. I don't know what I'm thinking. I've been looking at too many trucks. I've been looking at too many trucks. So same old, same old here. Nothing new here. It does show the Clydesdales, though. So it does show that there are some Clydesdales in there. So that's kind of cool. All right, moving on to 1989, final year. If you stuck out with me this long, you are a true trooper. Um, either that or you just really like Siku. Um, moving on here, looks like a new deco for the tanker truck. Um, other than that, it's all the same, same shell gas station. There is a better look at the space shuttle. Looks like it does come with a little satellite inside of it. New deco for this here uh, with the canopies. This is when they changed... Uh, started using a new wheel. As a matter of fact, I think this is when they switched to a rubber wheel. Uh, they went from a hard plastic wheel to a rubber wheel. Pretty sure that most of the tractors have always used rubber wheels. Uh, looks like maybe one new implementation here. Maybe another one over here with the log um, stacker. There's a better look at that um, canopy. or it's Canopy piece. I said that twice already. The conveyor belt. Um, I don't know how many pieces of hay it probably came with um but i'm sure it probably came with a few to at least at least play around with it probably wasn't very um involved uh new new tractor here that's a renault so very cool very cool new tractor uh and that is new as well that is a uh, tipper dumper truck looks like it uses the same chassis as this log stacker which is perfectly fine uh same old same old nothing new here uh looks like maybe a backhoe attachment for this renault tractor which the tractor is already new uh it doesn't look like there's really any new implementations here just better views of stuff that we've already seen like the chippers and stuff and the balers and all that kind of stuff the uh the um mower and stuff like that uh new dump truck here that's also another new dump truck here with the uh quad axles so two new ones uh brand new snow groomer here as well uh, also brand new here is the snow plow. So a lot of new models here. All three of these are brand new for 1989. Uh, moving on through here, a couple new decos for some police vehicles. New deco for this police boat here on the transporter. Uh, but it looks like the Führer, uh, Führer, however you say that in German, those ones are unchanged. Uh, the rest of this stuff here looks the same, except for, of course, this truck here. New deco on it. That is a Renault cab forward truck uh maybe some new decos on the car haulers uh two different style of car haulers here um and then that is a new deco haribo for of course um gummy bears so kind of cool they had that licensed on that man truck and rolling through towards the end new deco for the uh, animal transporters new deco for the trash truck um and new style for the uh uh, sign carrier uh, and then moving on here we finally get a cement truck they didn't have a cement truck so we finally got one of those kind of cool bulldozer as well and a skip truck and then of course they went back to essentially a yellow deco for the crane they really started getting crazy with that crane towards the end here um, and i don't know how long it lasted into the 90s but that's pretty cool i really like the skip truck of course that skip uh tank thing there whatever you want to call it is of course metal which looks pretty cool. That is it. That is the whole on Schlombel. That is 10 years of Siku catalogs. Um, definitely an interesting thing. Um, very long video. I do apologize, but uh, probably a little bland, a little dry. Didn't expect everything to carry over so much, but uh, we are diecast geeks and sometimes we really like this stuff. So I'm really happy I could bring that to you. If you watched it, thank you very much. I really appreciate you. You are a true fan. We're going to catch you next time on Level M. Peace.